Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to write a unit test case for two-way data binding or we can say like how we write a test case for asynchronous testing and what is the when stable in Angular unit test. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch previous part of this tutorial series where we have discussed about like how we write a unit test case for the like event binding, property binding, style binding. So before proceeding with this, I recommend please watch those as well. So let's understand what is the when stable method in Angular unit test case. So basically like the fixture dot when stable return a promise that resolve when the JavaScript engine task queue become empty. For an example, like when we implement the two-way data binding, the meaning of the two-way data binding in the sense like if we are making any changes in the DOM element, those changes reflect into the component side. And if we are making any changes into the component side variable, then those uh, will reflect into the DOM element. So basically here asynchronous work is going on. So what the uh, when stable is do like when this JavaScript task queue is completed or we can say it is become empty, then this fixture dot when stable do all the operation like whatever the functionality we have written that start working. So in this example, the task queue become empty when the observable emits the first code. The async utility tell Angular to run the code in a dedicated test zone that intercept promises. The use of the async with when stable allow us to wait until all promises have been resolved to run our expectation. So in a bit, we will see like how it works in a practical way. So basically like when stable is used when we want to do a write a unit test case for the asynchronous testing. The test resume within the promise callback which calls the detect changes. So as per the previous videos we know the use of the detect changes is like if we are making any changes and those changes we have to see into the DOM element then we use the detect changes so that we have seen in the previous video. So now let's understand how we write a unit test case for the two-way data binding and how we use the when stable. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and here like what I have done so far. So I created a one text box here and you can see it is using ng model. ng model is used for the two-way data binding and I have assigned a one property to this one and this is a student name and in, if you will go here this is the student name property and we are not assigning anything and then we have taken a header so here we are assigning using the interpolation next we have taken the button and this button name we have given id as a button one and we are on the click event we are calling a set name and in this set name we are assigning some value to the student so this is the html page and if you will go on the browser so here, like if I will write anything in the text box, so for an example, if I will write .NET Office to this one, we can see like header is changing. Like on the button click, if I will click, we can see it is changing to the text box as well as the header. So this is the way like two-way data binding is happening. Now for this one, let's write the unit test case. So first unit test case, we will write like what if we make any changes to this property directly. So for writing the test case, so first what we have to do, we have to import the form module. So that is the important like this form module for writing the to be data binding test case. Now let's write the unit test case. So first it and then we have to give the test name, test case name. So what I'm going to give student name from component and then we have to write the test case. So for writing the test case first what we have to do we have to set component student name equal to dot net office and i'm updating like updated so this i have changed it now next what i have changed it to like i have changed the student name now next what i'm going to do i'm going to like so what i'm trying to say is like if i make any changes to this label so it should reflect same into this element also like in the in text box also. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to access that particular element. So for that one and that is HTML input element. 
and now for assigning this one we know we use the debug element so, and the native element dot query selector and inside this one we pass the id and the id is we have hash name so let's copy it so we don't make any mistake in while fetching the id and we have to append with the sorry we have to prefix with the name so that we have done now next what we have to do we have to check so let's expect element dot value and it should be dot to equal and what is that like the we have updated this one so let's copy it and let's verify it like it is working as expected or not <coughs> So here what I have done is basically like I have assigned the student name then I am accessing the DOM element and then we are checking this one but we can see here it is failing and let's see why it is failing here we can see like this DOM element is still expecting the empty but we have updated to this one that's why it's failing and the reason is because still this particular is not uh, checked here so for that one first let's write the fixture dot detect changes so let's write it and if i will save at point of this time so let's see it is working as expected or not so i have written it and now let's go on the browser so we can see on the browser like still it is failing and it is saying the same name same error and the reason is because here a synchronous call is happening because of that it is not uh, like the changes is not getting affected so for that one like for the asynchronous testing as we discussed we use the when stable so now let's write fixture dot when stable and then and then what we have to do we have to inside this one we have to write this particular code so this full thing we have to write inside this one so once i have written everything inside this fixture dot when stable now let's save the changes so once i will save the changes let's see what output it give to us and we can see here now test case is passing as expected and if we will go on the browser here we will see like it is not giving the error but here one thing we can see like here it is uh, like adding spec has no expectation in the sense like still it is saying like it is we are not expecting anything inside this one it is not detecting this one so for get rid of this one we have one keyword called done so that we have to write it here and then we have to tell to this like while writing the uh, asynchronous testing we have to tell it like this testing is done so this we have to tell like we have to write done here then here and once we will save this one so now if we will go on the browser we should see like one test case is passed and apart from that we should see like that should not append here so we can see now test case is passing and all these things is updating so this is the way of writing a unit test case for two-way data binding and we can say for writing a test case for the asynchronous testing so what we have to do first we have to write our test case and we have to use the done to tell like when stable means all the promises is completed and we can optimize or we can test our test case and it tell us like what is the expected and what is the output so this is the way of writing the unit test case now next test case i will write like it so what next test case i'm going to write so when i make any changes to text box it should reflect into the header as well or we can say like if we will make any changes into the text box it should change the component property as well so this test case we are going to write it so for that one first let's give this our test case name so set text box value and this one we have to write so for this one now first what i am going to do i am going to check fixture dot detect changes so this i am going to do now next what i am going to do uh, since we it is a two-way data binding in the sense like asynchronous testing so we have to use fixture dot 
when stable and then we have to use inside this one we have to get so for that one first we have to get this particular dom element so what i'm going to do get this dom element so i have copied and pasted here so we have get this name now next what we have to do we have to change like we have to write some value to this one so here i'm going to write like element dot value and text box updated now what we can see now we can check expect and inside this one element dot value dot to equal now component dot student name so now what we have done we have get the name and then we have updated that particular value in the sense we have written something into the text box and then we are expecting like it is changed to the student name or not so once we will save it let's see what it give the output and we can see here it is giving the error and let's see what this error like it is we are passing this one and it is still empty means it didn't change the component property and the reason is like when we write anything on the text box so we have to attach a one event so for that event is let's write dispatch event and inside this one we have to attach that particular event and that event is the input because we are so let's put the semicolon now let's save it so once we will save like what it should be it should pass this particular test case but still we will get like that particular append and the reason is because we didn't put the done here so let's go first and check and like we can see the test case passing but it is appending with this and so for that one what we have to do we have to write the done here and then we have to write done here so now let's save it with these changes so let's now go on the browser so it's loading so once everything load we will see our two test cases passed so now we can see two test cases passing now next thing like we will write the test case once we click on this button so what it should do it should check like it should change this value even the text box value for that also so let's write that particular test case also for that one let's write it and i'm going to write like button click test case and first here what we will do let's put the fixture dot detect changes and now next what we will do let's get this button element so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this one first so it will save over a little time and here obviously this button is a html button element and here the id we have to give so let's copy this button one from here and put it here now next what we have to do after this one fixture dot when stable dot then and then what we have to write inside this one first we have to click like if we are making any like if we are making the test case for the button so we have to click it first and after we click what it we, sh we should expect so we should expect like component dot student name dot to equal so on button click like it should change to this one now let's save it and check like the changes uh, like this test case is passing or not so let's go on the browser and it's loading and we can see like our test case is passing so we will get rid of this specs in a bit so now we can see like this student name value is setting now we have to check same for the text box like same is uh, going like uh, it is changing into the text box or not so for that one first what we have to do fixture or detect changes because we have made the changes so after this one we are we have to write it now next like fixture dot when stable dot then and then we have to check for 
the text box so now what i am going to do i am going to copy this one inside this and then what i am going to expect i am going to expect element dot value means the text box value dot to equal to this so let's copy this one and put it here and now save it so once you will save like this test case also should pass so let's go on the browser and we can see like our uh, three test cases passing so like we can see here now let's get rid of that particular one so done here and then we have to write done here also so now let's go on the browser again let it complete and reload it and we can see now it reloaded and we will see like all the three test cases passing so this is the way of writing a unit test case for the asynchronous testing or we can say for the two-way data binding so now let's go through once again like what we did so for writing a two-way data binding testing first we have to import the form module in the spec.ts file then it like uh, this two-way data binding is basically asynchronous testing so what we have to do we have to use the when stable so for writing a when stable like first we have to use the done like this will tell us like our unit test case completed and we can expect the output like while uh, running this particular test case and in like whatever the logic we are going to write to uh, check our test case we have to put that particular code inside the when stable so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you